Hello dears. Today we have the video on essay of mature anther as per the suggestion from one of our subscribers. Structure of mature anther. In angiosperms, male sex organ. Andrichium, made of stamens. Stamen, consists of stock called. Filament and bilobed box-like structure. Called anther. The two anther lobes are separated by. Connective tissue. Each anther contains. 2. Longitudinally running elongated. Sporangia or pollen sacs that is 4. Loculi or pollen sac in each anther. But. Only one pollen chamber in mature anther. Inside each pollen sac there is a fine. Powdery granular mass of cells. Pollen. Grains. Microspores. Wall layers. 1. Epidermis. 2. Endothesium. 3. Middle layers. 4. Tapetum. 1. Epidermis. Outermost layer and. Divides only anticlinally. Cells become greatly stretched and. Flattened in order to accommodate newly. Formed tissues inside. 2. Endothesium. Layer immediately. Below epidermis. Radially elongated cells from their inner. Walls produce fibrous bands which run. Upwards. Helps in dehiscence of anther. Hygroscopic movements of endothecial. Cell stomium, a group of thin walled. Cells. In hydrocheridaceae. Cleistogamous. Flowers and in case of anthers open by. Apical pores the fibrous thickening is. Absent. In plants like musa. Seismum etc. The. Cells undergo cutinization without. Endothecial thickening. 3. Middle layers. Layers of cells in. Between endothecium and tapetum. Innermost wall layers. Consists 1 to 4 layer of cells and. The cells becomes flattened and crushed. Due to meiotic divisions in the spore. Mother cells. But in ranunculus. Holoptelia etc. The. Outermost wall layer persists and. Stimulates the tapetal cells with their. Enriched contents. 4. Tapetum. Innermost layer. Cells comparatively large. Radially. Elongated with prominent nucleus filled. With food materials. Layer is nutritive in function. It. Provides the food for microspores. Functions acts as a nutritive sac. Acts. As pathway for the conduction of food to. Sporogenous tissue from outside. Contributes to formation of exine. Through the uvish bodies. Produces. Pollen kit substances and rifine. In triticale tapetum originates from. Parietal layer and is homogeneous. While. In anterinum magus italics and balsam. Arises from sporogenous tissue. Type based on behavior amboid. And glandular. A. Amboid. Invasive periplasmodial. Tapetum. Characterized by the an early breakdown. Of inner and radial walls of tapetal. Cells. Found in. Alisma. Arum. Butomus. Tradescantia. Typha. Helianthus. B. Glandular tapetum. Here the cell walls. Do not break and they remain intact till the microspores are formed. And the cell contents become available to. Microspores. Ubish bodies are produced by. Glandular tapetum. More frequent in angiosperms. Example. Helebrus photitis italics. Sporogenous tissue. A typical anther. Has. Four groups of sporogenous cells. All sporogenous cells of anther are. Potentially capable of giving rise to. Microspores. But some of them frequently. Gets degenerated and are absorbed by the remaining cells. Here it is the diagram showing mature anther and now it is the diagram of wall layers of anther. Thank you all for watching. Please like share comment and subscribe us for more videos.